Tutorial 7 The Line Follower. G'day and welcome. In this tutorial we'll create a program to use the line follower. In today's program we'll have the robot move along a white line over a dark surface. The line follower consists of two sensors. Each sensor contains two parts, an infrared emitting LED and an infrared sensitive transistor or receiver. Start the program by dragging the Megapi block. From the control list, drag the forever command. Also from the control list, drag the if then else command three times and place them inside the frame of the forever command. From the operator list, drag the block with the equal sign and place it in the hexagon groove of each of the three if then else blocks. From the robot list, drag the line follower block. Place it into any of the boxes of the equal sign block. Select the proper port depending on the configuration of the robot, in our case port 8. In the other box of each of the equal blocks, we will type a number from 0 to 3, which we'll explain in a minute. The line following device consists of two sensors, sensor 1 and sensor 2. The following is the line follower codes for a white line on a black surface. The table describes how the numbers relate to the sensor signals. 0, both sensors are not active. 1, only sensor 2 is active. 2, only sensor 1 is active. 3, both sensors are active. Back to the program. We'll try to keep the robot moving in a straight line. So in the first equal block, type in 1. From the robot list, drag the run speed command and place it in the if and set it to turn right at a speed of 100. Underneath the run block, drag the wait block. Drag the run speed block again and place it under the else line with a speed of 100. As discussed, these speed values are arbitrary and they depend on your preference. That means when the robot has moved out of the left of the line, sensor 2 is active, making the robot turn right. In the second equal block, type in 2. From the robot list, drag the run speed command and place it below the if and set the turn left at speed of 100. Underneath the run block, drag the wait block. Drag the run speed block again, place it under the else line with a speed of 100. That means when the robot has moved to the, out to the right of the line, sensor 1 is active, making the robot turn left. Finally, in the third block, type in 0. From the robot list, drag the run speed command and set the speed to 0. Drag the run speed block again, place it under the else line with a speed of 100. This means as soon as the robot is off the white line or track, both sensors in the line follower are not active, causing the robot to stop. The program is now ready to be uploaded. With this tutorial, we conclude our series of MakeBlock Ultimate 2 tutorials on the basic controls. There'll be a few more videos where we'll try to create much more sophisticated programs. If you have any requests or questions, please contact us. Thanks for watching our video and have a good day.